Hi guys and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making glaze for candied lemons. I'm making these candied lemons to go on top of a cake that I'm making. Uh, they're great for decorating or you can just have them as snacks in themselves. So let's, without further ado, show you how to make glazed or candied lemons. So here we are guys. Firstly, of course, we're going to need a nice fresh lemon. The skin's been cleaned and prepared. And then you're going to need sharp knives. Now, you are, whether you use a, a long knife like this one, um, they're going to be, need to be sharp. So let's get a, put an edge on the knife. And then we're going to take uh, about any about a centimeter and just cut the end off of the lemon. And then from there on out, we're going to be cutting thin slices of lemon, approximately about a millimeter thick. Okay, and we can discard when we get to the pips. We can just remove those from from the lemon. So we're just cutting through and keep going until. You see that there, it's pretty thin, about a millimetre thick. And keep going until you've got all of the lemons sliced. So there we have it guys, we've sliced our lemon up. Now, you'll be able to pick the pips out. These are paper thin. Just knock, uh, use a little knife or use your fingers to draw the pips out of each of the slices. We don't really want those in there. Quite easy to separate the pits once you've sliced them. Now we're going to have to take these lemons over and we're going to blanch them, that's just to plunge them into boiling hot water. So I've got a pot over on the stove now coming up to boil and we're going to blanch these in and then we're going to take them from the boiling water, just, a, just about uh, 30 seconds in the boiling water and we're going to pop them into this bowl which I'm going to have iced water in to cool them down immediately. So here we are uh, over at the stove with our boiling water, it's up to boil now and we're just going to take our lemon slices and we're just going to pop them in here just quickly, we're just blanching these in the boiling water we want to leave them in there for about 30 seconds or so so you can see here guys I've got ice cubes in here, the water is ice cold. So take these straight out and pop them into the ice water just to firm them up again. So back here over at the stove we're just going to uh, turn the gas on. I'm going to place one cup of water and one cup of sugar. I've used icing sugar or powdered sugar in this instance but you can pretty much use any sugar. So we've put our sugar into the water now and we're just going to heat that, warm it through until it dissolves completely and goes clear and then when it's brought up to the, to the boil we turn it down to a simmer, we're going to add our lemon slices in here and simmer them, don't boil them mind you, we don't want to agitate them too much and break the lemons to pieces uh, we're just going to simmer them for about 45 minutes to an hour so you can see here now the water is just starting to come up to a boil I'll bring over the lemons that we prepared earlier, they're still in the cold water here and uh, they're nice and chilled and we're just going to drop these lemons into the boiling water, into the boiling sugar water. Bear in mind the cold lemons will bring the temperature down very quickly. You can see now I've nearly put them all in and the water's stopped boiling. So we do have to bring that back up to boil. So you can see now the water's come back up to a boil. I'm going to turn that down nice and low. And then we're just going to let those simmer through on there. They say 45 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour at the most, and they should be prepared and we'll take them out and show you what to do next. 
So they've been cooking now for about 45 minutes. And you can see, if I zoom in maybe, um, you can see now that the, the lemons are virtually translucent. And the sugar and water has reduced down to almost a syrup. And we're just going to keep cooking those for another, another 10 minutes. Now there you can see they've been cooking for about 50 minutes and I'm fairly happy to take those out now. They've gone to a, a completely translucent and because they've been simmering gently the structure of the lemons hasn't broken up. So we're going to take these out now and put them onto a cooling sheet. So here we are, I've got a, a grease proof sheet here and I'm just going to take gently lift you see that? Just going to gently lift the lemons out and lay them down on the sheet to cool down. You see they're completely translucent almost and still in their entire shape. I'm just going to pop these down here now to cool off. You see that uh, lemon there now is virtually translucent and the sugar water is almost like a syrup. So we'll pop those down on the side here, leave them to cool. Now if you look at this video here, you'll be able to see what I actually use these lemons for in another video. Or if you look over here at uh, this video, you can see a more decadent use for your candied lemons once you've made them. Well there you are, there's uh, the candied lemons, they're all dry now and you can use these for all sorts of different things, um, they're great as a snack as they are and I'll put a couple of ideas down in the description bar. Um, I made these lemons particularly to go with a lemon cheesecake but there's some other little ideas down there as well. So thanks very much guys, that's all from Steve's Kitchen, take care till next time.